Welcome to this week's Artist on Art. I am your host, Nada Milkovic, and it's a great lineup of wonderful people that I've got for you all today. Thanks for tuning in to the great KZSC. We have, first up, David Warren. David Warren is the founder of TEDx Santa Cruz. Let's say he's the art of, of uh, community building that we have here today. Thank you so much for coming up, David Warren. Oh, it's so nice to be here, Mar Nara. David Warren began TEDx Santa Cruz in 2010 as soon as the TED organization uh, opened up for site-specific, community-driven TED events, TED-like events. That's how we get the TEDx, TEDx Santa Cruz. And the reason David is here today is because we will be doing our third annual event, March 8th, beginning at 9 o'clock, and it runs the entire day at the Hotel Paradox. Uh, that is, the price of, it, of admission includes uh, a lunch. But besides the lunch and being with your lovely Santa Cruz community, you will get to hear some incredible speakers and see some wonderful performances. In fact, three of the performers uh, will be on later on in the show. Kat Willis of the Tannery World Dance Center and Cultural Center, as well as Queen Jasmine, and then... Um, Last but not least, Andrew Perchin, who will be doing live painting during TEDx Santa Cruz. Again, March 8th. Tickets are going pretty darn fast, I gotta say. So if you would like to get a ticket, please go to TEDxSantaCruz.org and you'll get to see everything there. David, I wanted you to come up and just talk to us for a few minutes about what what inspired you to begin TEDx Santa Cruz. Oh, and before you say anything, <laughs> Thank you so much for what you've done and all of the work that you've done over the, the past um, years. Well, thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Um, <clears throat> my family has been TED Talk viewers for some time, and uh, when I was really examining the website, uh, TED.com, why I realized, oh my gosh, here's this opportunity to actually have an independently organized TED event, namely the TEDx brand. And um, I started looking at the licensing, and it seemed like, gee, it was free, and, and you could apply for a license. And there was, you know, you had to fill out a considerable number of, of uh, questions and so forth. And, but I could see that it's, it was possible. And uh, so I, I applied and, and got a license. And it's just been a, a, a marvelous ride ever since. Um, I called you the Pied Piper of <laughs> TEDx Santa Cruz last week when I was speaking with Irene Superick, uh, one of the co-organizers along with yourself. And uh, do you see yourself as the Pied Piper? I mean, you, you how did you gather the team? Um, <clears throat> I, I went around the community in, in various forms and uh, had flyers uh, that I would pass out at coffee shops and so forth, just uh, inquiring. And, and I had my own network of people who I knew would be interested. And so it was just a lot of communication uh, around town and around the, the, the uh, county. And uh, there was no limit to the number of people who were enthused. I also got a very very clear picture of how many people didn't were not aware of TED and TEDx and so I realized that the work that we would do and how we would contribute to making the TED and TEDx brand more known in the in the county. So for our dear audience that is not aware of what TED is, TED stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design and has been a annual conference since the the mid 80s. Um, it used to be here in Monterey and has since moved because it outgrew itself. But it was a, by it, it still is an invite only exclusive event that some of the biggest thinkers and doers in the world get together to talk about what they're doing. And so the TED decided a few years back that they wanted to share what was going on and they published all of the videos online for free. <coughs> 
Yeah, it's, an, it's important to point out that <clears throat> in 2005, why the for-profit TED was purchased by a nonprofit run by Chris Anderson. And he inherited somewhat of an elitist organization. But by making it nonprofit and by um, <clears throat> uh, making the TED videos online for free and um, uh, instituting TEDx, why it was really an attempt to take that elitist view and make it more uh, uh, common ground for everybody. So you have a lot of experience, uh, David Warren, with TEDx. How would you characterize TEDx Santa Cruz different from some of the other TEDx's? The, the, the Santa Cruz community has such uh, um, amazing resources of inventive and uh, artistic and scientific uh, technological views. It's it's a uh, uh, anyone who's familiar with the with this community realizes, and it's not just Santa Cruz. It's the whole Monterey Bay region. Really, there's so much to draw upon, and so uh, I, I there's no dearth of, of of amazing people. There's just it's just an extraordinary. Uh, geographic area. And what about the curation process? Uh, TEDx Santa Cruz is uh, very hands-on with uh, helping shape the talks. Yep. <clears throat> the curation process is the heart of uh, the, the TEDx Santa Cruz organization in the sense that we invite people to apply and we typically receive over 120 applicants uh, from the from the area and beyond the area. So people are beginning to notice TEDx and apply from New York and uh, Portland and beyond. Um, the, the curation process is unique to TED and TEDx in the sense that um, it's a it's different than giving a lecture. It's different than than speaking in front of uh, an, an academic community or uh, an art community. The time is restricted to only eighteen minutes. Well, and it's a range between three, three and, and three minutes and, and eighteen minutes. And typically, the shorter talks are better because they're more compacted, more con more dense, more um, to the heart of what the talk is about. And so we spend a great deal of time, multiple uh, interview sessions with our speakers to coach them and, and cultivate what we think is uh, a talk that will hopefully go viral on TED. Because we want, we want our speakers in Santa Cruz to be heard by the world. So let's just talk about that a little bit. So TEDx Santa Cruz, we've, we're doing our third one again, March 8th. And we've had two, and we've uploaded all of the videos from those two first events. And they go on to the TEDx website, or excuse me, YouTube channel. And then when Ted sees a video of uh, Ted stature, perhaps, or something that's become very popular, they take a look at it, and it becomes, in, if they decide, to go up to Ted. Hmm. That's the TED YouTube channel. Right. And we've had several of those ourselves. Right. Uh, TEDx Santa Cruz speakers and videos that go on to TED. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we've had <clears throat> two speakers um, move up um, and and actually a, a third that, that went to uh, TED Global. Jay Silver. Uh, Jay Silver and I can't remember the name of the algae guy, but... Um, Trent, oh, well, I can't remember his name. Um, but at any rate, uh, overall, they've those uh, talks combined have received a, into the hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, all told, the 50 or so speakers that TEDx Santa Cruz has offered to the world have received over a million hits. A million like hits of our of, for our speakers. Right. It's incredible. Right. Yeah. It's so amazing. we're truly slingshotting these ideas into the world. Yeah. The te you know the, the the TEDx brand being able to uh offer uh 
stimulating, inspiring talks and performances locally to a global stage is probably one of the more ex extraordinary aspects of, of TEDx and TEDx Santa Cruz. And frankly, give me shivers when I think about it, just because, you know, this is largely free if you will take into account that we have in upwards of 50 volunteers who are, are working many, many, many hours to Including make this yourself. all possible. Including and, yourself. And sponsored uh, donations uh, underwrite the cost of, of uh, and the ticket sales underwrite the cost of the event. Um, it's an extraordinary journey. David Warren. Uh, I, again, thank you for bringing TEDx, making TEDx Santa Cruz happen and continue happening. Uh, well, one of the, the, the benefits that I have is, is that I get to talk and have coffee with some of the most extraordinary people in our own community and, and beyond. And uh, those talks are so rich and those, those uh, friendships are, are so um, divine. That, that it's just, um, that, that satisfies me completely. <laughs> David Warren, folks. He is uh, the founder and co-organizer of TEDx Santa Cruz. Uh, our next event will be March 8th at the Hotel Paradox. We're going to take a little break and come back with uh, two extraordinary artists, dancer Cat Willis and... Queen Jasmine, who will be giving us um, some spoken word. So please stay tuned and sit back and relax for a little Cesaria of